welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for being here. So today we are going to make some ceremonial cacao and I'm going to show you how I prefer to make it. I just like it in its natural state with no sugar, no additives, no nut milks, just plain cacao. Um, that is how I prefer to consume it, but you can go ahead and add in some extras to flavor it if you feel like you need it and you're not used to making the cacao. Might be a good transition to add, you know, a little bit of sweetener or add a little bit of milk instead of the water because, of course, it is pure cacao, so it's going to be quite strong. But again, that's completely up to you, but I'll show you how I prefer to make it and then you can go from there. So I am trying to cut back on anything with caffeine. I'm trying to incorporate more herbal teas in my diet, trying to cut back on coffee in general. And of course, cacao does have some caffeine in it. It's in its natural state and I feel really good about incorporating it into my diet here and there because it's really important to me to get into that ceremony so I can get into that deep meditation and I just feel very connected to Mama Earth and the universe and it works for me. So if you have a problem with having any caffeine in your diet, then you might not uh, be okay with incorporating ceremonial cacao into your life. So keep that in mind. So let's just get on with the recipe. I'll show you how quick and easy it is to make it and let me know in the comments let me know on instagram send me a dm wherever you want to message me and let me know how your meditations have been since implementing it into your diet just because i'm really curious to see since it made such a difference for me so thank you again for being here let's just get into the recipe so a little background on ceremonial cacao. So this is known as the food of the gods. It's where the infinite possibilities reside and where we can connect with our higher self and connect to the planet, the earth, universe, and it is an amazing heart opener. So ceremonial cacao helps us connect with our compassion, our love for mama earth and for others around us. So Mama Cacao connects us with nature. It's full of love and full of wisdom. So you also get the health benefits because it's loaded with potassium. You get iron and zinc and magnesium. It is a superfood. It's great for cardiovascular health. So you get all these health benefits as well from consuming the ceremonial cacao, which is of course an amazing benefit. I just learned that it also contains chromium, which balances our blood sugar levels as well. So it's also said to lower blood pressure. So again, many health benefits to including ceremonial cacao in your diet. Okay, so what's the difference between that cacao or cocoa versus the ceremonial cacao? Well, there's a big difference. Ceremonial cacao has a long process. It is the whole bean plus the cacao butter, which the cacao that you buy in the stores that you cook with, it won't have all of the cacao butter in it as well. The cocoa or the cacao, however you want to pronounce it, that you buy in the stores is usually GMO. It usually has tons of sugar in it and other ingredients and food colorings, artificial flavoring, all kinds of those goodies. So the regular cacao that you buy in the store, all of the fat has been extracted from there, whereas the ceremonial cacao contains all of those natural fats are still in the cacao in its natural state. So you can see it's a completely different type of cacao. So after the cacao beans are taken out of the pods, they go into this fermentation process. They're put into barrels to be fermented. And then once that process is complete, they are sun dried afterward. Once that process is done, they are roasted at very low temperatures, cracked, and then they are stone ground to give us this beautiful cacao that we see today as our ceremonial cacao. The typical cacao that you would buy in the store has been heavily processed. It's gone through a lot of machinery and it is just completely not the same thing. It is a very slow process for the ceremonial cacao and it's done in a very specific way. Okay, so I am making my ceremonial cacao today. This is the pot that I am using. This pot is exclusively for my cacao. I don't use it for anything else. It is a ceramic non-stick pan. This is what I prefer to cook with, but you can use whatever pan you have available to you. 
and I like the size. It's not super big, but it is big enough in case I need to make a bigger batch. And then I have my ceremonial cacao powder and I have two tablespoons measured out here. That's what I'm going to be using. And I have one cup of filtered water that I'm going to be using. And then I'm also going to be using cacao paste. So I am using cacao paste and I'm using 10 grams and I have measured it out. Um, it kind of keeps going between nine and 10. I don't know why it's being finicky. Um, yeah, so 10. And again, you don't need to measure it. You can just eyeball it. Um, but sometimes I like to measure it out and just see how much I have exactly. But yeah, that is the ceremonial cacao piece. Sorry about the reflection of my cupboards here. And this makes all the difference. Um, I have tried using just this um, or just the powder and it does work and it is very good, but my favorite is combining the cacao paste and the cacao powder together. So this is what it looks like, my cacao powder and make sure that it's ceremonial grade. There are great companies out there that have ceremonial cacao now. I will link the one that I use, that I truly believe is the best one. And just the fact that the founder is so passionate about ceremonial cacao also makes me really want to support her company. And here is what the cacao paste looks like. I'm already like halfway through this uh, bag. I do have another bag though. I do stock up when I order just because I feel such a difference when I include ceremonial cacao into my life and so I just basically can't live without it. So another thing that I invest in is just this very simple thermometer for cooking. I think it's meant for candy and it was very inexpensive on Amazon and it really has saved me uh, for making sure that my cacao is at the perfect temperature. So yes, um, I would definitely recommend getting one of these, but when I first started, I did not have it. I was just mindful and made sure that I kept on stirring and that I did not burn it and it still turned out great. It's just I have more peace of mind knowing that I have the thermometer and I know what temperature it's at. So I make sure that it's between 75 and 80 degrees and um, that seems to be perfect for that level of cacao consciousness that we are striving to have. So it's up to you how hot you want it. Some people just can't tolerate it that warm. So that's fine. Just don't heat it up as much and it will still be fine. So this is a master plant medicine and it is just going to expand you. You will reach amazing meditations once you incorporate the ceremonial cacao into your life. I cannot tell you what an improvement in my meditations it has made and how deep in meditation I can now go in. Um, it's just so heart expanding. It is truly amazing. So what I do is, before I used to just kind of pop it into the pot and let it melt, which is fine if you don't have a knife on hand, no big deal. Um, but I am going to kind of shred it up in little pieces and then add that to my pot with my water and my cacao powder. And then we're going to go further into uh, why I use the cacao and how. So some people like to bless their cacao. They... Um, chant to it, sing to it. It really depends on the individual. I like to put on soothing, calming music while I am getting into the cacao consciousness. And I start to basically ask the cacao um, and ask it for guidance. Ask the wonderful plant medicine for uh, whatever it is, the intention that I need it for, for that particular day. I will go ahead and just uh, basically say, you know, uh, today I really need some clarification on something. Today I really need some strength in this aspect. And, you know, kind of just put your love and intention into it. And I guess in a sense, bless your cacao. So once you've done that, if you want to, not necessary, you can go ahead and add everything to your pot.
So my cacao has just been shredded up just a little and I don't like to do it too, too tiny, but you know, pretty much similar sized pieces and they're all kind of shredded down. Again, I did it in the beginning without doing this and I just popped it into the pot and that always worked out perfectly fine for me. But if you can, if you can chop that a little bit, then go ahead and do so. Okay, so I have my pot and I am going to be adding my water. This is a medium to low heat and I'm going ahead and adding my filtered water into the pot. I don't sweeten my cacao. I know a lot of people use coconut sugar or maple syrup to sweeten it. If you feel like you need it, then go ahead and do so because that will get you to drink it. Um, completely up to you. I feel like I don't need to. But that's just me personally and I'm also used to it. Did I ever use sugar from the beginning? No, but I don't really use that much sugar in my cooking and baking anyway. So I'm kind of used to it. So you decide what you want to do and there's no right or wrong answer. So now after the water we are going to go ahead and add the cacao paste. I'm just going to throw that in like so. Get all those bits. probably need a different cutting board for my cacao because it gets stuck in the little crevice here. But basically just add all that in and then you're going to go ahead and add the cacao powder as well. Okay, and then the cacao powder. And get all that in. So you can start off with smaller quantities if you find that it's too strong as well. That is another option. I'm using a wooden spoon so that I don't scratch my non-stick pan. usually the time where I'm thanking Mama Cacao for her blessings, for her guidance and her love. I'm also taking the time to connect to it while it cooks for about 15 minutes, 15-20 minutes. You can even do it up to 30 minutes depending on how much time you want and I kind of just remember how this cacao actually got to me. So there's many stages, there's many people involved. It is such a big process. It's a sacred process. So I go back and I kind of just connect with all those people and thank them for all their hard work and for all of them coming together in creating this beautiful cacao. I also go ahead and thank Mama Earth for providing the rain, for providing the sunshine, etc., for this cacao so that it could grow to its magnificent state and beautiful plant medicine. So I am going to go ahead and froth my cacao once I have, you know, basically said my thank yous connected to my cacao. I go ahead and kind of froth it with a Mexican frother. Um, this is, you know, not necessary, but I really enjoy using it. Um, there is also a song that um, I did find. You could probably find it on YouTube. And... Um, it's basically the Mama Cacao song connecting to her and again being thankful for the cacao coming into your life. So I probably don't pronounce it correctly. I'm not going to sing it here for you, but I will add it to the comments below so that you can see what it says. And if you want to add that in, you can go ahead and sing that and chant that to your cacao while you make it. So this is where I go ahead and add the molinillo. So this is a Mexican frother and I really like using this. It naturally froths everything up and it's really, really nice. And it's a beautiful, beautiful frother as you can see with a lot of details and it's made with natural ingredients. 
The wood is beautifully carved and it's just exquisite. You put it between your hands and you kind of just go back and forth and whisk it up naturally. And you can find a Molinillo anywhere on the internet and even Amazon probably has some. So take a look if you're interested. And while I'm frothing, I am still putting my intention in and I'm still thanking Mama Cacao while I am frothing. I really enjoy incorporating cacao into my life. As I said, it really helps with my meditations. It is so heart expanding, so I really see a lot of shifts within myself and feeling a lot of self-love and love towards others by incorporating this beautiful plant medicine into my life. It really is pretty life-changing and I know it sounds crazy crazy, but once you incorporate it in your life, you're going to see changes. So if you wanted to, you could always check your Insight Timer if you use it. There is so much if you look up cacao, mama cacao, cacao ceremony, a lot of things will come up and you can go ahead and follow those. And that's what I like to do when I'm meditating afterward. A lot of times I'll throw that on. Um, but they also have really nice music while you're making your cacao or follow along type of videos. Um, and that's all on Insight Timer. So I do find that very helpful. So I go ahead and just check my cacao every so often while I'm connecting with it. It's only at 63, so I'm going to let it go a little bit longer. And again, it's at a very low heat. I started at medium to low and then I kind of keep it on a lower heat and just keep connecting to it, keep thanking it, um, and again singing that song to myself while I am connecting to the plant medicine. lighting some incense just to clear the space and prepare for my meditation while my cacao is just finishing up I'm going to be adding it to the cup now and then I'm going to do my meditation So there's still another serving in the pot and I will share that with someone and mine is ready for my meditation and I go connect with Mama Cacao. So my cacao cup broke, the one that I was in love with, it was like a flower little cup that you just held in your hand, didn't have a handle. But I did thrift this cup last year and I fell in love with it. I love how it has a pedestal. It actually works really well for me because I sit on a meditation pillow and I um, take my uh, 
um, oracle cards or tarot cards with me onto the floor as well and at least this is not you know just like the cup on the floor it has kind of a pedestal so I am really really liking this um, and I think this is going to be definitely my new cacao cup and exclusively for just my cacao so that song that I had playing was from Insight Timer and it's just the cacao song. So if you don't know it, it's great because you can follow it along with the song. And again, like I said, I'm not a great singer, so I do like to put something like that on sometimes and connect with Mama Cacao. Okay guys, so that's the end of the video. I hope you found it useful. I hope you try the cacao and let me know what you think once you try it. Thanks so much for being here again this week. Take care everyone and stay healthy.